Hey, how's it going? So, uh, my Toyota pickup, the gear shift started uh, popping out. I got a 5-speed manual. And uh, just lately, the other day I hopped in there and I noticed uh, it didn't feel, uh, the shifter going side to side felt kind of um, stiff, so to speak. And it started uh, having a hard time going into fourth. I used to have a little bit of hard time going to the third, but now it goes into third really good, but second's a little bit hard, and it'll actually pop out of fourth when I'm driving sometimes. So I think I know what the problem is, and so I'm going to tackle this and let you uh, see uh, if what I'm going to attempt is going to fix it or not. Okay, so this is kind of tricky because it's a beautiful day out, but the um, wind's blowing, so I'm hoping that it's hard to film outside because the camera picks up the wind noise, and then... Uh, you probably hear there's lots of background noise in the neighborhoods, you know, cleaning stuff and stuff. Uh, they're vacuuming the background, that's what that is. So, I went to Napa and, and I kind of didn't expect them to find the part um, that I think I need to fix. And it's, this is called a shift bushing. And uh, they found it, and it's kind of neat because they actually had a kit for it. And this is what I think needs to be fixed in there. Um, most people just go to Toyota to get it. This was about 16 bucks or so. Let's see. Uh, yeah, about $17, you know, $16.99 or something like that. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and it looks, you know, probably just as strong as the Toyota one. But, you know, I always like using OEM. But the Toyota typically is kind of expensive and the dealers in my area, or the only dealer in my area is very hard to deal with. I actually order usually from the town that's 60 miles away or so and they actually deliver the parts for free it's easier to do that than order with my local dealer unfortunately anyways enough rambling about that so that's what I'm gonna try to do and um, it, I can't remember what this originally looked like I was working on this before and I never quite bite buttoned it up so yours might not look a hundred percent like this because the last time I was I had actually removed my carpet and I thought I might have to get in here because it was shifting a little funny now it pops out of see it doesn't even of course I'm not stepping on the clutch but there that should have you know it's not doing its thing very well even without stepping on the clutch usually you can put it into gears anyhow so that's and then this just feels different to me so I'm thinking this ring got crushed down there so um, because my carpet's already back it looks like I'm gonna pull up this boot and uh well here i'll do it right now or maybe i won't i think the first step i'm going to do is take these there's four of these uh screws i'm just going to go around and take them out and see that might be holding the boot down we'll just see all right so i really have no idea what i'm doing or i should say i have an idea but i've never done this before um so i just went around and got all these four screws out and i just put them put them together here put them down there and uh, so I, I'm worried that I have to take this knob off and I'm hoping I don't because whoever had this before me somehow they they like over tighten that knob I cannot get that off I'm afraid it's gonna actually break stuff if I try to get it off so whoop, there it goes I just lift it up here one-handed and it popped out and there's another boot below there so let me kind of see what I'm doing I need two hands to kind of fill around I don't know what this thing is it looks like somebody else <laughs> kid left their hair beret on there unless that's some kind of Toyota part I don't know what that is anyway so uh oh it looks like it goes down there that just comes off so I think I'm close um again I, got, I need to go at this with two hands so let me just uh, put the camera down and see what's going on here Okay, so my step one is there, I don't know what step number I'm on. So what I was able to do is, I should have shot some silicon on this, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I thought a silicon spray would have just made this slide over easy. But so what I did was, I had to, the boot originally was down below here, and I just pushed that piece up to get it up here. And I guess this is where if you can get this knob off, you could slide this boot out just to get it out of the way. And I think that bray kid's ret or whatever you call these things, hair tie thing. Somebody probably just slipped it over here, and over the years it slipped down in there. 
So I think that's how that got down there. So it looks like the same deal where probably ideally I would shoot some silicon spray on that and slide this up. But all I'm going to do is slide this up and uh, see how far that gets me. See if there's any other clips or anything down there. All right, let me show you what I discovered so far. Um, pulled this boot up. This boot this slid up. And there's another boot down there. Uh, and unfortunately, mine's ripped, so I'll probably end up replacing that. Um, and then, so I just slid this up, which reveals kind of the area I'm going to work on. I think I have to push this down and twist it. So my next thing is going to be getting at this piece down here and how that comes off. Again, I think I just, because it feels spring-loaded. So that's why I'm going to play around with that, and I'll tell you how I got that off. Okay, the next step was kind of interesting. Uh, what I did was, uh, well, I can't see because the light's so bright in there. Um, I put a cloth over this, and I pushed it down and twisted it. Um, and I thought I wasn't getting it, so then I put on some gloves. You know, I just got some gloves so I could put more force on it, and I kept trying and actually I got it the first time but I just didn't realize it and then I said well and I just lifted up on the lever and then it came out so there we go ooh that's pretty hopefully that's I gotta take this all out well this might explain what's going on here let me sorry about this up close I don't even see the it's all metal on the end of there so <laughs> I gotta check out, hopefully that's all plastic and not metal gears grinded up down there, but I'm pretty sure that's what's left of my plastic parts. And that would explain why, boy, I hope I can get all that out of there. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is clean that all up and then figure out what's going on. It looks like I don't have any plastic parts left on this. They probably all ground up and I'm hopefully that's what I'm all seeing. And uh, so I'm going to have to get down in there and see what all that stuff is. But I think I'm almost got her there. And I definitely found part of the problem. So let me uh, get in there, clean that up, and see what I'm up against. Yeah, I thought I'd point something out there. So see these little nubs there on the sides? So I'll show you. Uh, I took the other part out. I'll show you that. I had to do that in two parts there. So I took the shifter out, I just got it on the lawn here. Um, oh, that's what I want to show you, it's a little, the nubs just kind of go into that thing. So, and there's a spring there, and that's the base of the, I don't know, what do you want to call it, shaft there. So when I push, what I did is I pushed down, and I turned it to the left to disengage that. And so when it comes time to put it together, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to press down, turn it to the right, and it should click in. Um, and I, I didn't feel like it took that much pressure to do. It's just that I didn't know that it was released until I pulled the whole thing up and the whole thing came out. So I'm just going to get some uh, super clean here and clean all this up. I, I'm kind of disappointed that my boot's busted. Um, and this is where if you could get the knob off, you could kind of like disassemble this pretty easy at this point. But what I'll probably do is just uh, for now, I'm going to clean all this up and then I'll... I'll show you a product that I'm going to put on there that I know it'll seal it for a long time. And I'll probably end up getting a, this boot. I wish I could get this darn knob off so I can really clean this stuff up good. But uh, anyway, so I'll show you that glue later on. I'll probably glue this. I might not even do it, but I should. Just to help so I can get a replacement boot if I can find one of those. Anyway, so all I'm going to do is clean this up. Alright, let me show you what it looks like now. Um, this whole thing is like polished aluminum. In. I kind of squirt some WD-40 down in the base, cleaned it up a little bit, cleaned it inside there. Um, I think that goes into the transmission, but I don't know, so I was afraid to put too much cleaner or anything in there. I just kind of wiped it out the best I could. And, uh, let's see if I can see it here. I found <laughs> this was just all ground up way down, down there. So I'm not sure how this is supposed to be greased up. Or even if it's supposed to have grease on it. So, um, but I just need to put my. Here's with the plastic. I think I showed you this already. This was a cap. 
it goes on the end of that ball deal and then this piece that just sits down in there and uh yeah like i said i'm not sure if i'm supposed to grease that up or not i'm going to kind of look around before i make a decision on that but it's essentially pretty much ready short of the grease ready to be put back together um my game plan on getting this little cap on is i'm just going to push the ball in there and it should pop in um and again, I don't know if I'm supposed to grease that. And you think they would say, it's got some kind of warning thing here. It's all in Spanish and stuff. Let's see. Causes cancer in California, so don't use this in California. Um, anyways, let me see what I'm going to do next. Okay, for this, it's just got like a flat side and a side with, you know, it's got that bevel in there. So, I'm assuming uh, it's got those little notches in there. I don't know what that's for. I'm just gonna put that down in there. Uh, I'm probably gonna need two hands to do that. But anyway, so I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm just gonna pop this on the end here. I'll show you that. I don't think I can do this with my thumb, but here. So all I'm gonna do is. Put this on the ground, stand this up, and push it in. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I just picked it up. I should have probably put some grease on there, but there's some play in there. Hopefully this isn't too old from being banged up down there. I'll probably stick some grease down in here. And then I'm going to grease this all up and start reassembling it. Okay, I got that little thing in there. I just rocked it in kind of like from this way, push it down and then popped it in place and it's down there now. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some multi-purpose grease and uh, grease that shaft up and then reassemble it there. Okay, so all I did was uh, on the tip there I just had some gloves on and I just kept pushing grease in there until it came out the backside. If you ever packed the bearing, pretty much that's how I did it. Uh, I'm just greased up the shaft. Now all I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to definitely do this with two hands because I want to get grease on everything. Just going to install the shaft down in the hole. Alright, it put up a little bit of a fight, but you, um, I put my gloves back on and just pushed down and twisted to the right and it went in. So this is all pretty much it. At this point all I'm going to do is uh, basically put the boot back together. Put the screws back in so there's not much more to watch. Let's see, oh, that feels a lot better already. That made a world of difference there. And it, it was like, I right, you saw, there was nothing left of that other one. But uh, it feels a lot better now. Anyways, I hope this video helps somebody out out there. If you uh, liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you uh, subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. Thank you for watching.